good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we're about to check out this legendary segment vince mcmahon receives a stone cold stunner a rock bottom the undertaker's last ride in the same segment now this is a legendary segment because it was leading up to a legendary hell in a cell a six man hell in a cell with at the time kurt angle was the champion you had stone cold triple h rikishi and the rock all in the same match man this was just epic at that time like these were the top guys in wwe and they were all fighting for the championship and there was like storylines within the actual match itself there was little mini feuds going on at the same time this is what makes it dope also uh the commissioner at the time was mick foley and vince mcmahon was basically like yo we're not about to have this match happening you're not about to have my top stars my top wrestlers damn near kill themselves in this match and this is how this segment came about because he was going to call off the match and the people that came out was not trying to have it we're going to check this out jr sold it on commentary crowd was epic popping like crazy look you can see just right now on the screen record i'm not sure if i'm gonna have it up but the crowd is just packed in so i'm looking forward to checking out this clip man appreciate all the love and support road to 20k on the way let's check it out man for nostalgia purposes what where are you mick How are you? look at that you heard that glass pop Oh, business definitely did pick up. Oh, this is so nice. It brings back so many memories. You can see, look at the graininess of quality of the video. I think this is the best uh, quality that I can get from it. Look at that. Bro, this is so great. Look at that reaction, man. It probably won't. I'm touched by the fact that you're concerned about my well-being. <laughs> so I'm sure that in turn. You can appreciate the fact that I'm concerned about your well-being. <laughs> oh my God, bro! I love it, guy. Came out there and stunned him, and that was it. They are selling on commentary. And what made this segment even doper is the fact that these people, as their music hit, they're coming up and down the ramp. So they pause, they look at each other, and then they go back down the ramp, and he goes up the ramp. I, oh, man, I just I miss these type of storytelling and just feuds, man. Oh, bro. Look at that. Oh my god, this is so great. Hey, GR is selling this, bro. <laughs> I can't oh, It gives me goosebumps just hearing that reaction.
This is great. Oh, shit. I just want to make this uh, make this little announcement. I just found out uh, recently that The Undertaker has finally announced his retirement from in-ring competition. To be honest with you, he should have retired a few years ago in my opinion, but he's finally uh, hung it up. He's finally let it go. And I would just like to say, man, growing up as a kid, The Undertaker was just one of those type of iconic wrestlers that... It's like, yo, when you saw him on screen, you knew some stuff was about to go down. So, um, future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. A legend in the business. I, I respect the fact that he always wanted to maintain his character. This is the first time ever since they uh, dropped the Last Ride documentary that he's really just been like breaking kayfabe. He's always, for the most part, stayed true to the character the Undertaker character, you didn't really know too much about Mark Calloway unless he wanted you to know. And it was it was dope that he was able to maintain such a type of like admiration all these many years later, bro. Like he's one of the, he's those top tier wrestlers that no matter when they come back to the business, people will always pop, people will always cheer, people will always want to see them. Because they made a name for themselves and and they cultivated uh, their craft, man. So, shout out to the Undertaker, Mark Calloway, for the many many years of giving us some great entertaining matches, man. So. That's so nice. That is wild. <laughs> the commentary. This is so great, bro. Look at Vince McMahon, bro. This is so great. <laughs> the commentary. Oh, no. You know what's coming. Hold my hat, please. Are you kidding me? The Undertaker's headed. The commissioner is tapping glasses. Oh no! You see how the Vince has realized who's here. Look at Vince's face. He's got to go to sleep. No! JR is the greatest on commentary. He is selling this. Legendary match, bro. You know, champion at the time, Kurt Angle. This is dope. He needs to be resuscitated. You talk about being concussed. Ah. Bro, you just. This is. Man, this is so dope. Ah, oh, man. Yo, this brought back so many memories. Just a, just a classic. Just. You can't. You can't beat that, man. Like, this is how you hype up. A potential match bro this was before wwe really just tried to ham like hammer stuff down your throat it was very simple very simplistic they didn't have to do too much they literally just went out there hit their finishing move on the boss that was trying to cancel the match just to get people excited about the match because at the time there was hell in the cell was always just like a you know a defining match you know what I'm saying? It was like, it was something that people always look forward to. But you have six of the best wrestlers in the company all fighting for the WWF Championship in the Hell in a Cell. 
just there's nothing to say except hey mom and dad i i'm i know you're not a big fan of me watching wrestling but you gotta buy this pay-per-view but yeah man it's it's i just i miss those days bro i, I miss the days of just getting hype for like a pay-per-view and a specific match um you do see it every now and then with wwe when they're not trying to force things down your throat and try to force a narrative but outside of that man it's 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 good to go down memory lane so comment down below who was your favorite wrestler back in the attitude era man me personally my favorite wrestler was stone cold he was my favorite at that time uh right behind him was of course the rock like it was they were neck and neck sometimes in my opinion but in attitude era stone cold was definitely my favorite so comment down below i want to know who was your favorite wrestler back then in the attitude era and also send me some clips send me some old wwe wwf clips from either the ruthless aggression era or the attitude era like dope segments that you want me to check out on this channel because i want to check out some of the older stuff too because that's the stuff we grew up on and i know you guys love when we check out some of the older clips so appreciate and love support send those links to the older clips down below in the comment section road to 20k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace <laughs>